here post game with Coach Lester. Coach, back to back conference wins. Um, have to feel pretty pretty pleased with the way your team played today. Uh, recap that victory for us today. Uh, yeah, um, you know we're we're kind of in the stretch right now where we've actually been dealing with some adversity. We've had a couple of injuries. Um, we have uh, unfortunately one of our starters out right now uh, that, is, that is dealing with mono. So uh, you know we've had to over the last couple of games make some adjustments and try to find some different ways to be effective. Uh, and we've been able to do that. I think in Evangel, uh, which is a tough place to play on the road, uh, one of the tougher places in our conference, uh, that was our first game, missing a couple kids, and uh, I think it showed the way we played. Today I think we looked a little bit more comfortable offensively with the lineups we had on the floor. We had Sydney start for us, um, and, and I thought we really played with a lot of poise down the stretch. Uh, that game was back and forth for most of it. Um, and, and we really kind of pulled away at the end of the third quarter, into the fourth quarter, and our kids just, our kids are used to being in those situations, and uh, you know they don't panic, and, and they played really smart, and they were able to hit some shots, make some free throws. Most importantly, they got stops, and uh, they just they came up big down the stretch and, and pulled away late and made that game look uh, a little bit more lopsided than maybe it actually was. But we'll take it. Uh, we're three and one in the conference, I believe, two and one in the conference, maybe. <laughs> Can't even remember, but. Not, uh, you know, it's nice to get back-to-back -back wins, and we've got one more before Christmas, and hopefully we can finish on a high note. You know, one player that um, we've seen a lot of effort from on the floor is Jamie Hodge. Um, both sides of the floor. Um, you know, talk about her play recently. You know, she's been aggressive um, going to the cup, getting you some steals. You know, talk about her play. Well, one of the things I, I really challenged Jamie was to get to the free throw line more um, because she's so good at getting to the rim. Um, but she, she tends to avoid contact instead of finishing through contact. And she's done a much better job getting herself to the free throw line, which has helped her scoring. Um, but Jamie just plays um, as hard as she possibly can the entire time she's on the floor. And she's one of those kids that has the ability when she makes a mistake to uh, make a positive play uh, to make up for that. And you saw that a couple times defensively where maybe she didn't hit the shot she wanted to and then she got a steal and got us the ball right back. So uh, when she plays within the system and what we're doing as a team, uh, she's a difference maker. And I'm just really proud of the way that she has stepped up in her senior year and really asserted herself and played high level basketball and very smart, very intelligent basketball. And Erica Simpson the same way. So those two kids have really played uh, like seniors are capable of playing and kids that have been in our program for four years. And I knew they, knew they had the ability and I'm glad to see them that we're showing everybody how good they really are. Well, Coach, thank you. We will talk to you this week as you prepare for Graceland. Thank you.